For years, my job search was a randomized and painful process. I didn't track where I previously applied. When I wanted to network, I never knew whom to reach out to. And during interviews, my preparation was all over the place. I needed a solution to make the job search process not only enjoyable, but more hopeful. This is where Notion came into play. Hey again, if you're new here, my name is Maddie. I'm a career coach and consultant helping you land more jobs to craft the career you deserve. I understood over the years that having a bad system for job searching makes the whole process so doubting people stay in jobs they don't like for years and settle for less than what they're worth. But with a simple and trackable strategy, you can take control of your job search and start crafting the life you really want. And this is what Notion helped me achieve. And because I know this tool can be complicated to comprehend at first, in this video, I want to show you how I use it to get dozens of interviews. To have an inspiring and fulfilling career, you need to be intentional in your actions. You cannot apply to any job posting you see and miraculously land on your dream job. The first column of my tracker is then dedicated to listing all the companies I was interested in working at, based on what I heard or discovered about them and where I felt is an opportunity to upgrade my career. But these companies are not all equal, so I created the second and third columns to help me track information I care about. If you have the ambition to move out from your city like me, you need an easy way to know where all of the jobs you're considering are located. And depending on your industry, companies might change the wording of the positions they advertise. So I write them in here because this is something I take into consideration when writing my resume. One of the main hurdles I had before using Notion was using dozens of Word and Excel documents to store information about my target companies. I noticed I hated repeating the same process without a clear order for every company I encounter. Using the Notion template feature, I created a template with pre-filled questions to help me know more about my target companies. This avoids thinking every time about what to write for every company I add to the list. I first ask myself, why do I want to work here? If I don't have a particular reason, I will either remove the company from the list or put it as a less priority, simply because from my experience, when I have a clear reason to work for a company, I tend to go above and beyond and not give up on the first obstacles during the job search. I will then write and store any valuable information I found on the company. This helps in two ways. First of all, I have somewhere where I can store valuable information on this company and save me time when I land an interview there. And second, if I need to reach out to a recruiter or hiring manager, I will already have some information to talk about. Notion helps me with these templates that you can customize all you want and keeping it neat and clean. Now, I remember sometimes I would be scrolling on LinkedIn and find interesting job postings that I want to apply for maybe later in the night, but forget to save them. I remember also landing interviews while the job posting was no longer available. Now, I have taken the habit of copy pasting the entire job description into Notion to have it handy for each company. Having the job description in hand helps me do two things. First, have it nearby when I'm ready to tailor my resume before applying. And second, prepare for interviews. I like to read the job description multiple times before an interview because I want to tailor my answers to what the company included in the job description. If I see them constantly talk about a certain quality, for example leadership, I will intentionally give more examples to demonstrate that trait. Before we move on to application status, if you're enjoying the video, hit the like button to let me know. Maybe you're enjoying this video, but one thing no one enjoys is waiting for companies to give us a status on our application. I am sure you've had a similar experience where barely any company gives you the news of whether you're taken or not. No feedback. So I decided to assign a status myself. Every new company I add will have a not applied yet status. Then I will have a status for every stage of the job search from applying to interviewing to rejection. If I don't get any news from a company three weeks after I applied, then I will change the status to no news. This status system helps me focus on the most important companies today and not worry about other ones. When I do apply to a company, I will not only put the applied status in here, I will attach the exact resume I used in the application. This helps me refer back to that exact resume if I apply to similar companies or roles, but also know which resume I use for this company if I ever land an interview. One interesting status I want to tell you about is the no applying one. Sometimes I find great companies I would love to work at, but without an active job posting for the role I'm targeting. So instead of waiting, I will network my way through it. 80% of jobs will never be posted online and are filled internally and through referrals. And I want to take advantage of that. And I do it using my networking tracker. This is the most important part of my system and where Notion changes everything. 
If you watch my other videos, you know that applying online alone is not effective at all nowadays. You need ways for companies to know you, for employees to refer you, so that you get an edge over other candidates. And this can be achieved through networking. In this sheet, I have the name of people I found on LinkedIn. Usually they are hiring managers or recruiters. To make sure I don't mix them up, I include the company they work at. And using one of Notion database capabilities, it automatically links it to my previous sheet. This way, it's easier to track whom I reach out to and how many people did I reach out to per company. Next, I have created another template here to gather important information on each of these contacts. When you're cold emailing people, you need great icebreakers if you want to reply. And most of the time, the ones that work show that you've done preliminary research on them. I like to include any interesting facts about the person, whether it's their career, work experience, something they've shared on LinkedIn, or any news about them on Google. Then, I write the script of my email here, again to store them for future use or future references. When this is done, I will reach out to them by email or LinkedIn. Before, I wasn't tracking what platform I used, so when it was time to follow up, I was always lost to find my message, so I added a column to track that as well. Finally, we also track the status of our messages. When you add a new contact, it defaults again to no contact yet, to make sure you prioritize these people first. Then again, I have a status for every stage of the networking process. And finally, the date last contacted column helps me keep track of my follow-ups. Usually, I follow up every three business days. There are many other features Notion has that I didn't show in this video and I'm constantly upgrading this tracker, so if you want a follow-up video, let me know in the comments. Using Notion truly helped me and thousands of other people keep track of their work. I used it to keep track of my job search and career to help me make the most out of it. From storing valuable information about companies to tracking application status and focusing on the most urgent job posting, I truly think Notion is one of the most powerful tools out there that can help you get more results. If you like this template, you can download it for free in the description below. If you want to know more about how this job search system helped me and dozens of my clients get jobs, you can fill out the form in the description as well. If you have any questions on this template, please leave them in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this one, and I'll talk to you soon. Ciao!